I'm the social media manager. It's an essential part of a marketing business. Instagram, Facebook, media planning, advertising, conversion. We out here. Often in marketing, there isn't a conversation about the origin of something. And I think we instead root down in like, no, there's a history to this and we want to tell you the history. There's hundreds of years of culinary backstory to this and we want to take you on that journey with us. My name is Sana Javeri Kadri. I'm the CEO and founder of Diaspora Co. I'm also the head of sourcing, the marketing manager, the social media manager. At this point of the company, I have my paws in a little bit of everything. Diaspora Co. is a single origin spice company and we source organic spices from small family farms across India. I really wanted to be telling deeper, complex stories to a community and a customer base that wanted to know more. And that little idea has definitely grown and grown and grown and grown. We started the company with a box of turmeric this big from our farm partner, and we now work in full 22-foot containers. I moved to the US eight years ago, and I knew two people, my two aunties. And so when I started Diaspora, I didn't have really anywhere to take my story to, but the one place that I did have that, you know, 300 people listened to me every day was my Instagram profile. I have grown up on Instagram because I started on there as a 17 year old and a decade later at 27, I run my company on there. I have always wanted a storefront. I have always wanted a brick and mortar that people can go to. We found that what our community most wanted from us was ideas and inspiration of how do you use this spice in addition to knowing where the spice came from and who grew it. Um, and so using the shops feature was a really great way for us to tie the business and product element to the deeper storytelling element. So we use the shop feature just as a way of tying in the commerce part of our company with the storytelling. I really think of what Diaspora is trying to do as building a community and building a community around um, these farmers and connecting consumers and farmers together. And I think our customers and our community are really excited by that because they know that when we're sharing, it's because we want to tell a story and we want, we want their feedback on it. I love posting cookbook recommendations, articles that speak to me. What I know now is that the keto good brand is that people are more obsessed with it than maybe you ever imagined. So the Daspar Kitchen was a way of very organically reaching out to chefs, recipe testers, influencers, bloggers, anybody in our community and saying, will you share a recipe with us using our spices and then come on to Instagram Live and we can cook it together. And we ran it for four weeks and I think we ended up working with over 40 different community members to do recipes. And it was really fun and the response was amazing. It maybe wasn't like the best use of my time as CEO, but I think for months after that, we would hear from our community that they were now finally finding the time or the right spice so that they could cook with a recipe that we had posted. It was a blast. When you're starting out, like, of course, we do everything ourselves, but working with amazing photographers who knew how to shoot recipes and products better than I could was a game changer for us. And if your Instagram is your storefront, you want your storefront to look good. The biggest one, I think, is, is to know your audience. The engagement has to be on both sides. Like, you have to be as invested in what your community wants. Don't be afraid of the comments. The more folks are engaging on our Instagram, the more sales we're seeing. The more you open it up to conversation, whether that conversation is, you know, purely good and celebratory or actually a bit more complicated, nuanced and tough, it's still helping people think about the work that you're trying to do. We now work with 12 farmers across India. We are able to provide healthcare to all 150 of them. And by next year, we'll be working with double the amount of farms and probably triple the amount of farm workers. So much of diaspora on the sourcing end is how can we be of service to Indian farmers? But I think on the marketing end is how can we be of service to this amazing community of home cooks that depends on us to flavor their food? I love that. I love that I'm able to connect a consumer to something as tactile and beautiful as the turmeric coming out of the soil on the other end of the world.